Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 21 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp. In this video, we'll be talking about parallel cross browser testing with Jenkins 2.0 and this is part B of this continuation of part 20 video. So please go ahead and watch that video before watching this video because we are going to start from that video only, right? So let's get started. So for that, I'm going to flip to our Jenkins right now. So in our last video, we did until here for the parallel execution. So we specified the param browser is equal to Firefox and then params browser is equal to Chrome. So which means this is going to execute the test for the Firefox and this is going to execute the test for the Chrome. And you can see that we have used a keyword parallel here and this is a tag to specify what kind of execution is really going to happen, right? So I'm just going to save it right now. And if I try to run this time, right here, you can see that the build is actually happening. And if I go back to my dashboard, you can see that part of the .NET pipeline job is actually running in the Ubuntu agent. You can see that the test has already started for the Firefox browser over here. And there is one more test starting in the Chrome browser on the same executors right here. So now you can ask me like, this is not really a parallel execution. This is like a sequential execution happening because as you can see here, every time it is actually executing only on a same executor instead of running in multiple executors. So how to overcome this situation? What is the mistake that we have made in our actual .NET pipeline project where it is actually running all the test in a same build executor? So we can actually figure out this by going to the configure option here. And you can see that our complete test currently is running in a node Ubuntu. So it is like a hard coded. We are telling that, okay, for this node Ubuntu, you run both of these tests parallelly. So it is also making very much sense that we are restricting our test to actually run in only one node. So in order to achieve a real parallelism using Jenkins, we have to split the nodes based on the browser type. So for the Firefox, we need to run in a different node and for the Chrome browser, we need to no run in a different node. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this guy, the node from here altogether. And I also have to showcase you very quickly, like this particular parallel, if you specify something like this as a Firefox or a parallel Chrome or here, it works fine without any problem, but we also have to follow a little more syntax here. So if you go to the pipeline syntax very quickly, and if you search for what is called as parallel, if you come down here, if you see somewhere something like parallel, execute in parallel, right? If you just see the help here, you can see that it takes a map of branch names to closures and an optional argument, fail fast, which determines a branch upon a failure, another branch, right? So how we specify the syntax is something like this. Parallel, and then you specify the browser name as the first branch or something like that, or maybe Chrome in our case. And then there is a comma of which browser, right? And then fail fast, if you said true or false, it's against default, so we really don't have to do anything. So we have missed a comma in our syntax as well. So maybe we can just give a comma here and to look more even, you can see like this syntax, right? You can actually do something like this. So you can specify comma and you don't really have to specify a parallel here. Rather, you can just specify Chrome, right? And then it works fine. Or if you don't really have to give the comma here, you can just directly give what is called as a parallel and then you can grow, give something like this. So anything is fine. I mean, you can choose anything you want. So I can maybe choose this. Again, it's gonna reduce some line of code for us. And as I said, the node, right? For that, you can actually do something like this. So now we can specify in which node it has to, we don't really have to specify which node it has to execute, but here you can specify node, something like this, right? And this will actually run the test on a node. It makes more sense, right? So you can see that node. So this test is going to run in one node. And again, there is a node. It's going to run this particular browser in another node. And the thing here is actually that it is going to run on each and every node for us. 
and also it is going to run the test on an available node so for instance if you're going to run a test on some nodes and if the node is not really available then the test is not really going to run parallelly so it is going to wait for the node to be available to run the test right so this is how it is going to perform and i don't know what is it saying suddenly it's saying the end of file is expected but i think this is totally fine without any problem oh i'm sorry i just have to give a comma there right i think so this is fine all right so now everything looks fine so i'm just gonna save all right and now if i try to build this project oops we have an error as it is indicated there i think the syntax is not pretty perfectly coming over there so let me just go back to the configure here again oops i think i missed one more thing basically this whole test is also need to be executed in a node right so even though we don't specify the ubuntu here it is also very important that any test that you're going to run is going to run within a node right so we have to specify that as well so i'm just going to intend this code here to make it more readable so as you can see this particular node is going to perform these jobs well we have to do this jobs as well all right so oops i think i missed one more thing i should have did this execution of node until here at least until to the stage because anyways these are the parallel things are going to execute in a different node so maybe i can just intend it here all right so i'm just going to delete this so our Jenkins file is right now ready. So now I'm going to save this. But there are some cases where we may have some problems as well. So the problem is something like sometimes the node will not able to allocate to the available node even though if it is because I'm right now running two nodes in the same machine. The actual delegation of work in different nodes will not sometimes happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build this right now. And if I go to the dashboard this time, you can see that the master is actually running one test and there is one more executor which is also executing the test. So right now it is doing a little parallel over here, but sometimes we may end up in using the same, uh, same agent to perform the operations. As you can see, the Chrome is not at open here. It's only the Firefox which is actually executing and it is running the test here all right so it came to the selenium test but by this time the chrome should have also opened to perform the operation but somehow the chrome has not yet initiated so if i go to the dot pro pipeline project you can see that we have a failure so this is pretty much expected that i say i already said the dll will not be found by this time if i could drill down a little bit here you can see that file not found so this particular DLL is not found and the Chrome browser is not yet initiated and the reason is because we actually are using the same agent what if I, if there is the same agent which is going to execute the test it is actually going to fail right so in order to c remove this confusion what I'm going to tell is I'm going to explicitly tell this time all right for this particular node you try to use what is called as our master agent and for the Chrome browser you use the Ubuntu agent that we created so it's going to use the ubuntu agent so right now you can see there is a master agent can execute one particular browser test and the ubuntu agent is going to execute the chrome test but each and every agent actually has their own executors so it, ha it has like three executors in the ubuntu and it has two executors so i'm going to save this and right now if i try to build this guy you can see that the bad guy is right now out and you can see go to the dashboard and see that right now it is going to execute the test on a multiple agents parallelly so you can see that the part of the data pipeline is running on the master and also in the so you can see right now it has opened the chrome and also the firefox parallelly for us you can see they're executing so you can see the firefox is again closed and the the chrome is actually spawned so right now it is much parallel than before right so the same test is actually being executed in a multiple browser same time without any problem 
and also we should see that the test should get passed this time instead of failed so you can see still the master agent is performing some operation and both of the agent are right now idle state and now if I go to the dotnet pipeline this time you can see that this is in a green color or success and if I go to the console output this time you can see that we actually have our test being executed in multiple browser same time compared to uh, compared to the previous one so this ends our parallel browser testing option using what is called as the parallel option available in our Jenkins. So you can see that this particular Jenkins file is right now a little more improved compared to before because right now we have a parallel execution of different browser at the same time and also we are doing like checkout, restore and build. So as you can see that the Jenkins pipeline is really really cool compared to what is called as your freestyle job because it has so many options and it's also much neater way of doing it. The final thing which I'm going to show before we end up this course, maybe this particular section, is going to be the open blue ocean. So if we go to the open blue ocean option this time, you can actually see the more intuitive way of displaying the result. So if I click this, you can actually see that check out, restore new get, build, and in the parallel test, it's actually showing you the browser types as well. The Chrome and the Firefox. This is really, really awesome because it also show a very neat diagram here and your test is being executed in multiple browsers and you can see the batch script which is being executed for each and every uh, test that is being ha happened here and for the build what is really happening. So everything is being seen much clearer in the blue ocean than compared to your uh, classical way of displaying the result as the stages in the UI, right? So this is much easier. So if I, if I go to here, you can see that this has failed, the Chrome has failed because of some reason, and but the Firefox test has got passed, right? So this is also a way to showcase uh, the team that how the test has been executed using the Jenkins parallel execution for different browsers, right? So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.